so we got the first swing of the body put on there. It's been gluing up for a little over an hour now. I'm going to pop the clamps off of here and glue the second wing to it. Um, I want to take a look and see see what this first one looks like here. Kind of careful that I don't nick the neck or anything. Yeah. Starting to look all right. Almost about halfway there. Feels like it has a pretty good size and feel to it. So that's the first half, glued up. The joint looks good. No real complaints. There's a little difference in height right about here, but that's something I can sand out. Not a real problem. So I have a good joint over here. This is gonna be pretty nice when this other wing gets glued on here. A little close up of the headstock. So you got a nice long base. Yeah, actually you can see the grain kind of all right in that, I guess. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip it up like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue the other side to here. Um, I'm gonna try to do the exact same thing I did on the first one. Get it clipped really good when it's on there so that way there isn't any lateral movement. And make sure that it gets glued on there nice and straight. And once that is glued on and it sets up, be able to do a little, little final kind of carving additions that I've got to do. Um, depending on depending on when the pickups and stuff come, I'm a little bit behind schedule on ordering. Um, we're actually they're taking a little long to get here, but um, depending on when pickups and pickups and then uh, we got one other thing coming. God, it sucks getting all done. So one other thing coming besides pickups, and once those make it here, um, I'll have to route my cavities and everything on here. So get all the cavities routed. Um, depending on if they don't show up or they do show up or when I think they're going to finally get here, I may throw a coat of finish on this just so that way you can cure up. I'll come back with my Dremel and I'll route out some pockets, um, or I'll come back with the router probably and route out some of the bigger pockets. And then I'll just touch those up with some true oil before we put the pickups back in. Um, that's not going to make any bit of difference at all. But that's how it sits right now. Doesn't look bad for half of a bass guitar. Got a couple things happened since then. I glued the other wing on, and I was had a little bit of downtime while this is gluing together. So I decided to take a off cut, and actually that off cut's right here. I took the beats that I cut out of the back of the neck because it still had the same profile, and I fabricated up just a little cover. Um, I just sliced off a thin piece, brought it over the belt sander, sanded the heck out of it, beveled the edges, put a couple holes in it, countersunk. And that's going to sit right over the truss rod cover. No, the truss rod, rather, it's going to be the truss rod cover. Drilled it through, you know, tested a couple screws. It fits really nice. It's going to sit there. Blends in really, really well. And it's very, very hard to see the difference between this, you know, and the, and the surrounding wood. It blends in really well. From a distance, you'll never see it. It's also experimenting a little bit with knob placement. Um, again, this is a little bit hard to see because of where I got this, but I can pull these off. And lift this up. Like I said, we're gluing it together right now, but that is where we're at right now. And I really like the proportion on this headstock now. The more that I'm playing around, this is a big headstock. I mean, it's going to have to support a couple, you know, a set of four really big tuners, and I've got them left, two left, two right, so it's going to be a big set of tuners. But it's a nice looking guitar. The young man I'm making it for is going to be very, very happy. I wish I made two of them. I wish I made two at the same time because this is a really cool looking guitar. Um, just have to do a little bit more carving on the back. You know, kind of blend this in here really well. I'm going to have to clean up some of the glue. You know, it's kind of oozed its way out. But that is just a wonderful looking instrument. I'm really, really happy with the way that it turned out. You know, it has a nice feel. It has a nice feel. It has a good size. And it'll be perfect for him to grow up with, you know, when he gets, you know, when he gets a little bit bigger, he gets a little older, you know, he's got the perfect body here, he can do anything with it he wants, he can have active pickups, you know, all the crazy stuff, and, but 
I think it looks pretty good. And again, monster headstock. I'm going to let this glue up, um, finish, finish dry in here, uh, probably another hour or two. Then I'll break it out of the clamps and I'll come back with the scrapers. Uh, I'm going to try to do a lot more scraping than sanding just because there's paduka on here and I don't want that to get into the maple and turn pink. Um, I should be able to brush most of that out, but it's a pain in the butt. So, Like I said, I'm going to come in and get it all sanded, get any of the burn marks out that I didn't get out before, clean up any of the glue squeeze out that's on here. And if the pickups show up tomorrow, before I get a chance to put any finish on this thing, I'll go ahead and route the pickup, pickup pockets and everything like that and then install them. But if it doesn't, I'll just flip it over and do the control cavity, and that's really going to be it. You know, I'll do the control cavity, I'll drill a line for the bridge, uh, for the ground wire to the control cavity, and then once I route my pickup slots, I'll connect those with a hole to the control cavity, and we'll be good to go. I'll just have to make a little wooden plate. Then I'll go on the back of there to cover it up. And from the front, all you'll see is pickups and hardware. That's it. You won't see any, any pick guards or anything, which is the, the look that I like. So that does it for today. And uh, actually, if I come back out and do a little scraping, you know, I'll put that on here as well just to show you that. But other than that, we should be back when this is about ready to go. And hopefully we get some pickups and some hardware.